Welcome back to Ben's Garage. As you can guess, we are in the Range Rover. I'm hoping I've opened some windows. <laughs> the wind is coming from that way. I normally have this window open, but sometimes in the car it sounds a little bit funny. So hopefully it's not with the windows out. Anyway, today we're going to have a look at this. Now I did show you this on one of my daily vlogs. I unboxed it. We're actually going to try connecting it to the iPad. Got the iPad here in the car. Uh, I'm going to switch Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, uh, switch Wi-Fi off in case it picks up at the house. Sometimes the signal can reach out to here, but it's very weak. And we'll see how well this connects and if it will work with the app. Now, I've only got the Osman Maps. Um, I've paid for the subscription for one month just to try it and see how I get on. I don't think when it comes to doing the off-road trails and stuff, I do prefer Gaia GPS, um, just the layers and stuff on that app seems, I just prefer the look of it. So when I've got it on the screen down here, if it's something that you like to look at, it might be easier to use. It's Ben's garage logic, come on. So yeah, this is the Garmin Glow 2. I'm not gonna do an unboxing because I did that the other day. I've had it out of the box, I've charged it up comes with instructions, uh, it comes with a power cable that you can plug into your car, you know, a socket like that to keep it charged or you've got your USB one. I'll probably keep the USB one indoors and uh, keep the one, this one in the car and that is it, tiny. Just close this box up out of the way. It is small, fully charged. It should last for about 13 hours, um, but with the power and the multiple power outlets in this car, I don't think the one in the cubby box works. So I'm gonna have to look at that. I know the one behind does and the one in front does, but anyway, that's something for another day. So I alluded to having a mount so that I can have my iPad in front of the screen. If we're out together with the dogs out, we tend not to have music on, um, especially if we're filming because of copyright, but we end, we talk to each other, you know. Uh, music is all right in the background, but if we're doing a bit of off-roading, this, that and the other, it, it's not necessary. So somebody who we all know is working on some mounts to hold my iPad. Now this is my iPad, it's a fifth generation iPad in a poetic cover. It's like a rubberized silicon cover. Um, I don't know how big that is. It's what's that? Ten inches. It's 2017. This, so it's getting on a bit, but it still works. Um, I have got some power cables for the iPad and the one for my phone. I I did get two. I've got one for my phone, but where the case is on the phone, the lightning plug on the new charging wire won't it just keeps popping out so i've got my original apple one which works it's fine for some reason i ordered this in two meters <clears throat> anyway i'll do some screenshots on the ipad and we'll we'll see how uh, this is going to work so let me um, get the screen recording all right so first up i'm going to switch wi-fi off it says it's not connected but i'll switch it off anyway bluetooth we want it switched on so what i'm going to do now is on this is a little power button so i'm going to press and hold that i don't know if you'll be able to see the lights no all right so we've got a green light and we get a blue light so all we have to do now is pop that in the windscreen so that it can view the satellites. Uh, I shall come down to my Bluetooth. Garmin Glow is already connected. I have connected it up just to see if it works. So I'm gonna pop that in the windscreen. It has got like rubberized feet on the bottom so it shouldn't float around. They do actually do a pad for this that it fits into um, and it goes on your dashboard. It's another 25, 30 euros. They also do a belt clip. If you're using this out hiking 
um, and you want to use that as a GPS receiver for a phone where you don't have sort of cell service um, they do a belt clip and that's about four five euros so I'm going to pop that in the windscreen and we'll see what happens on the the uh, iPad right, I shall put that there and then let's get this iPad opened up so let's go for Osmond Maps OSM and Osmand it's opening up now I'm going to press the where's where your location button and see if it uh, it's brought us right up. It's brought that. I don't know if it's point. Let me turn it around and see if the car turns around. So I've turned that round on the dashboard. I don't think it would do anything until we started moving. But yeah, that seems pretty good. That's the only I've downloaded the whole of the Hort VN on Osman Maps. So I should be able to now um, go into my places, is it? Tracks. I might have deleted them out of here. <laughs> like a pillock. Uh, let's see if Gaia works. I haven't downloaded anything for Gaia because Oh, it's picked us up. Let's go into saved. Uh, now this is a trail over to the east of us, which is quite a a really good trail. Um, there's a few YouTubers that have done it, so let me see. If, if it shows up on here and there it is now I've not got offline maps so I don't know how Gaia GPS is it's not detailed I don't know if I'll be able to zoom in on this yeah until you know it's it's not detailed there's a little bit pops up but that looks quite a good trail um, maybe you never know one day we might go and try it now I've noticed that on a lot of trails I'm, I'm gonna plan a route when the Hobbit finishes her radiotherapy we're gonna have a little picnic again like we did on our birthday um, I'm trying to work out a route to the where would it be um, We're north of Ladinac, so yeah, it'll be south of Ladinac, and there's some trails over here, over this way, towards, so if I zoom in, this one here that goes, so this is a Shaman, so you can get on a Shaman, as long as when you get to the Shaman, there isn't a sign up that's a big red circle with a car, a motorbike, and a buggy with a line through it that means no motorized vehicles if it says underneath south riveron um that means except for residents so if you have got access to property on that track you're allowed on it it's not open to the general public for motorized vehicles you can probably walk up it you can probably uh, bicycle horse ride um but it's not open to motor vehicles now there are thousands of tracks in france that you can drive on so this is one that i've what i've been doing is going on gaia gps on the desktop on my mac looking where the shamans are um unpaved roads anything like that and then using google maps street view and then i can z get on the street view and, and then look at the, the the beginning of the track where the track starts on the road uh, and then see if there's any sort of size it might all still have signs when we get there but I'm sort of planning a route down I can't really show you but it'll be coming down here along up this way and then across and then we're gonna aim to get up all these black lines are trails some you can go on some you can't but I want to aim to get here which is a little settlement 
and there's a, a little chapel and there's a fountain in the woods um, I can't remember what it's called now, Le Bon Fontaine um, it's, there's some little bloody shrine up there, I think people hanging their underwear up next to it <laughs> It's bizarre. If I can find a picture, I'll put it up. Um, but all these black lines are trails. As I say, you know, some you can go on, some you can't. Some of them might be a bit overgrown where they don't get used that much. And I don't really want to scratch the car up. So if they are all overgrown, I'm not going to just plough on through. We're going to back up. But yeah, so all these black lines are shamans, unpaved roads, all that kind of thing. Now... This is Osmond Maps, and although it's good, I'm not too struck on the way that the layout is. And But it's whatever you're used to, isn't it? I like looking at a map as... Well, I just prefer Gaia GPS for the look of it. Um, Gaia GPS is probably a bit more difficult to use than Osmond Maps. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to press the um, Where Am I Located button and see if it takes us back home. Yeah, there it is. So that Garmin Glow is working a bloody treat. Um, whether I've actually paid for the subscription for Gaia GPS the next time we go out, I don't know. So I might be using Osmond Maps, but what I'll do is I'll plan my route on Gaia GPS on the Mac, save that route, export it as a GPX file, and then I can import the GPX file onto Osmond Maps and it will show me the route. You can have it. You can have it talking to you and this, that, and the other if you want it to. Um, I tend not to like a lot of waffle from the sat nav, <laughs> but yeah, it bloody works. Um, I'm not going to be road testing. I'm here on my own at the minute. Hobbit's having radio therapy. Um, so although it was quite expensive for what it is, it enables my iPad to become a GPS device, um, which for me. I think is bloody marvellous because if you look at the size difference there's my iPad and there's my phone um, I don't think I've got Osmond Maps on my phone anymore um, because I knew I wasn't going to be using it but let's just put this one on IGN Rando this is like a French um, French mapping so that would be that and that is that it's a no-brainer, really, isn't it? Obviously, the phone has got GPS built into it, so that's all well and good. iPad doesn't. The only iPads that have got GPS are the ones that have got cellular, so if they've got SIM card in it. We're all set for navigating off-road. We've got a few other little bits of kit that we're trying to sort out at the moment. One is the roof rack, which I'm, I'm not desperate for. But it would be a nice addition. It's like The Hobbit says, it would be handy to have, even if we need to move a set of ladders or buy some timber that's a bit long. Because we're limited. Um, I think we could get... If we run a bit of timber through, put the seats down, is it two and a half metres off? I think we might have had three metres in here. But you're really limited to what you can sort of go and pick up. If you've got a roof rack, you can just strap stuff on the roof lovely jubbly so it is a, a good bit of kit to have and I'm, I'm sort of just working out i have worked out a deal but uh, they're not providing it for free basically uh we're having to pay for it we are getting a good deal in exchange for making video content and sharing it on social media and this that and the other but that'll be coming along hopefully soon i've been <laughs> i've pretty much got enough money for the car insurance so whatever we make after that is going on the car basically um so that's pretty much it the garmin glow is bloody marvelous so all you do now is when you finish with it is press and hold the button switches off there you go it's off so that can go in the cubby box now with the power cable and uh, all good stuff so you enjoyed this video a lot of waffle for not a lot of content really um, as per usual, I'll just get talking and get carried away and uh, anyway, I've got some more videos to do this morning while the Hobbit's out so I'm going to crack on with those and uh, you will see them in good order. <laughs> anyway, hope you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you later. Bye for now.